Good afternoon and welcome to Windy Hill Kennel. So today we are down on the sun porch. We decided to get out of the basement and we're really excited about spring and but today it's rainy. Um, I'm hoping in the next 10 to 12 days we can get these guys outside and do videos outside if the weather warms up and it's cooperative. So a couple things, um, ears and eyes are still closed. Those don't open up until about oh 12 to 15 days in that ballpark um they are a week and three days old today and they're doing really good i mean weights are really doing well they're progressing really good and uh, it's exciting to see how good they're doing the uh they're still can't control their body temperatures uh, they will not be able to do that until they are about two weeks old and until then, mom spends 90% of her time laying with them so she can keep their body temperatures uh, at hers. And a normal body temperature for a dog is 101 degrees. So um, she's doing super good with them and they're doing really good. They're nice, getting nice and fat. Um, puppy size on this litter, I know I've had people asking me, you're gonna be somewhere between Oh, 16 and maybe 20 pounds. Might, you might go 21 on some of these bigger guys if it's a male, but um, it won't be long. Then when, once they hit two weeks, uh, they're gonna get their first worming uh, this week when they turn two weeks old. So, um, oh yeah, we'll hit it this week, I guess. And uh, they'll get their first um, a booster shot, which is just a Neopar, and they'll get that at their four week mark. So what I'm gonna to do today is we're gonna kind of do a repeat. We're gonna go through here and we're gonna do uh, microchip numbers and weights and let you see how they're doing. Uh, schedule wise on these, we do have one puppy left that's still available in this litter if you're seeing this on YouTube. So as of 5-3, there is one puppy available. It's a male. The number on the internet is, um, hold on, I gotta check the first part. I can't remember what the first part of these are. I think it's 8206 is on the internet yep 8206 is what the internet says it's the very first puppy on there and i think i put that number on there wrong but that is the first puppy that's still available or the last puppy that's available i'm going to check the chip numbers this afternoon and if it needs corrected i'll correct that but um i've been known to screw up when i'm putting a bunch of them on <laughs> it's not the first time won't be the last so uh if you're interested in that one blue merle male uh, just give me a call I have notified a bunch of people off of the waiting list and not heard back, so I'm going to just turn it available to the general public. Um, this is Chamois' third litter. I've had people ask me that, and um, we did not start breeding Chamois until she was about two and a half years old. So uh, she's kind of a late bloomer in this, but she's had phenomenal puppies for us, that's for sure. So uh, I did not put them up here in any certain order, so we're going to have hodgepodge back and forth. <clears throat> and like I said, I don't think you're gonna see an 8206 because I think I got the number wrong. I have to check the microchip, <clears throat> excuse me, the microchip sheet because it would be right. It's just, I have put it on there wrong, but it is the first puppy that's on the website. And this table is a little small for nine kids. So this is 8209, which I'm kind of wondering if that's not what it should be on that sticker, but I'll look. Uh, we have one pound, two ounces as of today. And like I said, eyes are still closed. No one has uh, started to open their eyes yet, but it sure isn't gonna be long. Um, they're gonna get a bath the week their eyes open. So I would say either by the weekend or first of the week, they're all gonna get their first bath. It makes them, it perks them up. It makes them more lively It gets them active. And so we're always anxious for that first bath. Now, if you roll off, you're gonna bounce. So let's keep an eye on you and I'm gonna move them in as I go because sometimes they're quieter when they're snuggled. 8212 is this puppy's number. And um, markings are really pretty on all these guys. They're doing great. I love Merle's. I'm thrilled to death that she's a cryptic and that's the only reason she ever has Merle's. So doesn't matter if I bred her to a pink polka dot poodle. She's only gonna have or a pink polka dot schnauzer, I should say. She's only gonna have blue Merle schnoodles. One pound, 1 1.2 ounces as of today. Don't you keep creeping. 
I'm watching you. This is kind of like watching on who's in, who's on first base and who's on third base. There she goes. Creep, creep, creep. You little snot. You're going to go right over the edge. Come back here. There you go. Oh, my goodness sake. This is going to be a quandrum. All right. So 8213 is microchip number on this puppy. This is almost a yin-yang. It's got really nice coloring. It's all, we call it a reverse merle. So the body is primarily black with just a little bit of merling on it. But this is almost, almost a perfect yin yang face if I could get him to hold still and not keep wiggling around there. And this one is a female. I keep, don't panic if I say he, he or she because I know I didn't check those two and I'm known to call them that. All right, let's go up here. One pound, 4.2 ounces is what she is today. Did I do your chip? Yeah, 82.13. I'm gonna stick you back here. And I know I forgot these two. This is a female and this one was a male. So the male is 8209, which is the one I think is might be, should be a, an 09 on the website instead of an 06. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let me squeeze in here and grab the fourth one out. We are at 8208. Really nice dark soup. Oop, where are you going? Scooch my way. Really nice dark steel merle. I don't see any slits in eyes yet. This is the one that has all four white feet. And he's doing really good. Nice and fat. He says, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. One pound, two ounces on the button. And this is also a male. Okay. Let's stick you right here. Oh, I know it woke you up. Sorry, I bothered you. All right, so we are at 82. Oh, here's my 8206. I didn't screw up. Yay! This is the puppy we still have available. You have to stop and not scoot so far out there. Scare me to death. This one has really nice. Oh, now you're coming backwards. Good grief. This one has really nice stripes on the back. I love to hear the chimes. I don't know if you can hear them on the video, but the chimes on the deck are banging. Really pretty on the face. I love the ears. They've got really nice. Let me see if I can flag both ears out there for you and let you see them. Really nice baby. But that's the one that's still available. Are you having trouble? Are you trying to turn on your back? Nope, going over. Okay, whoop, can't go. All right, there you go. All right, let's see what he weighs. One pound, 1.4. Vanessa and I went through all of these with the microchipper a little bit ago. Did I do you? I don't think so. 8210, no, we haven't done you yet. Oh, 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 oh. But we went through and checked chip numbers and we could not find that 06, so I'm glad we found it. Okay, buddy, I know. Nope, you're gonna go, aren't you? This is a female. This one is 8210. I don't know if we did or not. We may have. She's almost got black pants on. She's got black down both back legs. Oops, you're wiggly. And she has this great big dark spot on the side of her head. She's got a pretty dark mask. And she's got really pretty merling on both of these ears. You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. All right. So, one pound, two ounces. None of them are really a long distance apart from each other. Somebody has bad air in here, which usually means that we're gonna get the repercussion of that. And they were nursing when she brought them up, so it means somebody may potty on us if we hopefully are not lucky enough to have that happen. This is 8211. This one also has black pants. It's really dominantly, you're getting so close to the edge of this, it scares me to death. But both legs have black pants down them. Let me turn you this way. I'll show you the other leg. Oh, you guys are acrobats today. But really big dark patch on the side of the neck. Kind of matches this one. And she is, you have poops on your belly. Mom did not clean your belly, belly very good. One pound, 1.2 ounces. All right. I'm keeping Vanessa up. 
I don't know if you can hear her yawning on the video, but she's over here yawning. All right, so we are 8207. And this one almost has a yin-yang face. It says, oh, you're touching, touching my face. I saw it go. Lots of black on the back. We obviously can't do this on the table next time. They're too big. And this one has the big dark patch on the neck on this side. Okay, Munchkin, this is a male. One pound, 4.4 .4 ounces as of today. Okay, last but not least. Oh, this one has big black spot on the belly. This is a male. Are you yawning? This one has, whoops, got to move them on both ends. Let's bring you down here just in case you decide to do a willy and roll over. This one has very, very dark, heavy markings down the back. Also, both ears are pretty much dominantly black. It's got nice markings on this side. They're really starting, their hair is starting to finally grow. And that big patch in the white chest. Are you yawning? Oh my goodness sake. Touched your cheeks, didn't I? Made you yawn. All right, so we are one pound, 2.4. This might be close to the biggest one. I think we had one that was a little bit bigger. So that is the skivvy on all of these guys. Your feet are hanging over the back edge. That's okay, just as long as the body isn't hanging over the back edge. So next week we will be on the floor. We will not be on a table. Usually we can get a, sometimes two videos out of a table and then that's it. So as of right, as of right now, everybody's doing fantastic. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you have not seen us before or have heard of us, if you click on our um, subscription button on our YouTube channel, it will notify you whenever I send or whenever I post a video. And once I post to YouTube, I automatically upload it to the website. Okay, I give up on this side. These guys are being good. This one says I'm leaving. Yeah, you're leaving more than I want to see you leave. So I'm going to hold you. You scare me. But they're all doing great. If you have any questions at all, please give me a call. Um, I will be glad to answer anything I can. We have already booked them in for a spay and neuter. You will find that on the website underneath the picture at the top of the page. And there is going to be a couple litters all going home at the same time. So the earlier you book in, the better you get a chance to get the date you're looking for. I do not do Sunday pickups. So uh, Monday through Saturday is great. We start at 10 in the morning and um, we give everybody around an hour and a half uh, on our schedule. That way, if the weather's permitting and you'd like to go on a tour of the kennel, uh, please feel free to do so. I will let you know, no one here wears a mask, uh, nor do we ever wear a mask. So if that's something that bothers you, uh, please wear a mask when you come. But we've all been healthy for the last year and a half. We haven't slowed down a bit for this virus or whatever they want to call it. So, but just note that we do not wear a mask and you are not required to wear a mask when you come here. So I hope you had a great uh, weekend. I hope you have a great week. I hope you've enjoyed their video. If you have questions, give us a call and have a blessed week.